Hello and welcome to the v3.co.uk weekly debrief. I'm Phil Munkaster and these are the top stories this week. Swedish profile sharing party, the Pirate Party, now has a sister organisation in the UK. The UK Pirate Party has been given the go-ahead by the Electoral Commission and is set to campaign around three core policies when it stands at the next general election. These are to legalise non-commercial file sharing and reduce the length of copyright protection, to end excessive surveillance of citizens by government and big business, and to promote freedom of speech. The party will be hoping to ape the success of its sister party in Sweden, which currently holds a seat in the European Parliament. Microsoft has announced a new deal with Nokia, which will bring its office mobile software to Nokia devices next year. The agreement will allow Nokia customers to access Microsoft Office documents on the go, with E-Series phones the first in line to benefit before the apps are rolled out to a wider range of Nokia's Symbian devices. Nokia also said it plans to roll out Microsoft's collaboration software, Office Communicator Mobile, to its Symbian range as well as offer customers mobile access to intranet and extranet portals built on Microsoft SharePoint. New government research shows that public authorities access nearly 1,400 private phone calls and emails each day. The figures were revealed in the annual report of the Interception of Communications Commissioner. They show that throughout 2008, public authorities made over 500,000 requests to intercept the public's communications. That's an increase of 44% since two years ago. And the Liberal Democrats, who made the report public, said the numbers show Britain has sleepwalked into a surveillance state. And finally, our most commented story of the week is news that the majority of sales on the iPhone offer games, while Android users are buying more tools and apps. The research, carried out by analyst firm Distimo, found that 9 out of the top 15 applications purchased on the iPhone were games. However, not one game made the Android top 15. This did mean, though, that the average price of Android apps was higher than that of the iPhone. Our readers appear to be divided over what this says about the iPhone or Android-based mobiles in the business environment. Some readers argued that iPhone apps are all style over content, however one other said it's less a case that the Android is more popular for business use and more that there's nothing else aside from apps to download for the platform. And that's all for this week. You can find out more on all of these stories and more at our website www.v3.co.uk. See you next week.